Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is part three or part four in how fast will this Traxxas slash ultimate go? How fast can we get this thing on uh, stock parts? Uh, the last video you'll see without the body, we got it up to 64 miles an hour. I know that was cheating a little bit. We're wanting to get it to 70 as our goal with the body. So I'll come up with a new plan. In the last video, I'll put a link to it up here in case you missed it. We adjusted the suspension, got this thing trying to lower the center of gravity, jack the back end of it up, give it some rake because the car, of course, is going to do this whenever you throttle up on it. So what we're going to try to do in this video, I've come up with a new plan. We're going to try to eliminate any of that at all. Let the tires be what little suspension the thing needs. And what we're going to do, and I said we're going to stick with Traxxas parts. I just didn't say what parts. We're taking the shocks out. We're going solid. We're going to mount the solid, no uh, no give whatsoever. We're going to let the tires be the uh, let the tires be the suspension on it. We're going in a straight line. We're not jumping humps. I mean, it may go airborne, but that's not our goal. We're going to lower this thing a little more. We're going to set it level. We're going to take away any chance of hopefully, you know, it it raising up in front. Now, if it air gets under it, of course, we'll have to deal with that. We're going to add stuff later in the future, but right now. Like I said, we're going to run everything as fast as we can on all stra uh, stock tracks as parts. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these assembled, and we'll go be right back and show you my plan. All right, we've got those installed, and as you can see, it is way, I mean, we're laying on the ground, so that, that won't work. So what we're going to have to do is adjust the turnbuckle just a little bit. We want to get the thing up off the ground about a quarter to start with. We want some ground, we gotta have some ground clearance under it. Then we may have to adjust this to stand the tires up a little straighter. You know, we're not afraid to make adjustments on this thing. These, excellent factory shocks, but uh, we wanna get a little more stability and take any bounce out of it. So I'm gonna get the little tool where I can adjust those and I'll show you the results here in a moment. All right, we've got those adjusted. I'll show you the height here in just a minute, but as you can tell, the tires, it's a plastic, it's gonna have a little give to it, everything will, but for the most part, the bounce is gone. We're gonna go ahead and adjust these and stand these tires up just a little bit straighter and see what we end up with. But that order right there, that's gonna take any of the ability for the suspension to rock backwards. I mean, we're gonna do the same thing to the rear right here in a second, but this might work, this might not, but it's something that's running on tracks as parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the back ones assembled. Now they're, they don't have the ends on them. Of course, we're gonna keep up with all these parts that we took off of it. We're gonna go ahead, here's the part number I'm using. We're gonna get these ends put on here, the ball put in there and get those back installed and I'll show you what the result is. All right, now we've went through and removed the shocks. We took all the, virtually all the bounce out of it. We've got this thing hopefully stable, maybe too stable. This might not work, I don't know. We're gonna move on to the next part. This is the next thing we're gonna do to it to hopefully reach 70 miles an hour on stock parts. We're gonna step up from the high speed gear that comes with it. We're going up to a 20 tooth. See where that lands us. So let's go here and go ahead and get the uh, the motor out and see what the one in there is. I can't remember what comes with it factory. Let's get it out and we'll check this thing out. All right, right, right there is the part number for the 20 tooth. Now I've got the fact, the one that come out, this is the high speed one that came with it. Let me go ahead and get this. This is the high speed. I don't know what tooth it is and I can't find the literature on it, but you can see that there's gonna be a sizable difference. Let's go ahead and get this now to pack. It may be easier to compare. This is the 20. Unfortunately, it does say 20 on this one. Right there. Now keep in mind, this is factory traction, but this one doesn't say. I don't know what it is. It's just the high speed and it comes with it. But there is a difference. We're stepping up to a 20. Let's go ahead and get that installed. And here a little later in the video, we'll, uh, we'll get it run and put another speed test, put the uh, Sky RC back on it, see what we get out of it. So I'm going to get this reinstalled. Oh, there's one more thing we got to do. Uh, if you'll recall in the last video, I think this is the tire. No. We destroyed a tire. Well, somewhere, I 
We got two new tires. Once again, Traxxas number in the package. We got to get these these old ones off there and get these new ones glued on. So I, I won't do that on camera. There's lots and lots of videos out there, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get these on there, get them glued up, because it'll be a day or two before I get to run it and complete this video. They'll dry. Get this thing reassembled. Let's see if we can reach 70 miles an hour, all stock components with the body. I feel confident we can do it without the body, but I want to hit 70 with the body as a goal, my first goal before we start adding non traxxas upgrades. Stay tuned. Okay, we're on. We've got all the modifications done. We are linked to look like 13 satellites. So we're gonna go over here and set this other camera up. See what we can come up with. And of course there comes a car. So we'll get up here and get ready. Okay, here we go. I don't know if we lost the tar. We got 54 miles an hour that time. <clears throat> Looks like our tires are holding together. I don't know what that noise was. It may be a little bit too low. Looks like we're still dragging right there. Track, start. Go again. Here we go. Start out easy, wide open. All right, let's see what we got that time. Stop, read, 56. Read and stop, read, 56. Okay, time to lose the body. start okay we're gonna run this without the body a couple times and see what we can come up with slowly wide open Stop, read, 63. Okay, so I was in there uh, editing this video and getting it ready to, to post, and I thought, well, I need to make a closing statement on it. Um, this is the video, the end of the video, where we went and we added these solid bars in place of the shocks to try to take away from the... Uh, rock the chassis rock and whatever uh went down there and run it again after i extended these and brought it on up off the ground um i think we took a step backwards because he never did reach the uh 64 mile an hour again so we're going to go uh, one of my viewers one of my subscribers made a comment give me a couple of suggestions on uh how i could maybe put the shocks back on and eliminate that so i'm open to suggestions we're gonna go ahead and before i make the next video we're gonna Take the solid bars back off, put the shocks back on. We're still gonna leave it at the lowered ride height, ride height because that's how I got the um, the top speed, of, well, the top speed of 64 mile an hour. 
that's the video where the tire come apart and those seem to have held up well uh, we may be reaching the limits of this motor i have the biggest tooth um, gear in there that'll fit uh, under its current setup right here because it won't go over any further i'd have to start changing both of them and try to find the right combination to get speed and I, i'm not beyond doing that but we may be about time to try some other some other parts and let me go ahead and show you something that i've got right here I've had these tires here for quite a while, but I just, like I said, I wanted to stick with Traxxas parts as long as I could. So uh, this is the tires we're gonna initially try. I don't know anything about them. Heard good reviews on them. So I figured what the heck, we'd give them a shot. They was not terribly expensive, but expensive enough. So when we start uh, making changes, first thing we're gonna do is go with tires, get a little more meat, a little more meat on the ground, a little wider tire. But first thing I'm gonna do is put the shocks back on, make the changes that the uh, subscriber suggested and see what happens. Uh, we may be at the limit. This will end the video. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to keep up with how we, uh, how we advance with this thing. At some point we will give up on Traxxas parts and go ahead and start adding aftermarket. I've got a couple ideas that I'm looking at, but y'all have a great day. God bless and we will see you on the next one.